everybody. Welcome back. Time for the Daily List this morning. Uh, y'all have an Instant Pot? I have an Instant Pot. I, I want to get one. I just haven't gotten around to getting it. I got one. That okay. was my birthday. They've been around for years, though. Yeah. They really, really, really caught on last fall and over Christmas. I just realized I have a typo on my thingy, but that's okay. Uh, they're great for a lot of things. Rice uh, and uh, chicken, and you can make desserts and things. But on the daily list this morning, three things you might want to skip putting into the Instant Pot. Really? For best results. <laughs> Number one. Fried chicken. Oh. Instant pots do moist and they do cook, but crispy doesn't really seem to be its thing. It's oh. great for soups and stews, sauteing before you put the lid on. Uh, but a lot of moisture builds up with all that steam. If you have any, you know, after, even after you release all the pressure, you open it up, a lot of water comes off the lid. Not the best environment for anything fried. So skip the fried chicken and all the other fried stuff. <laughs> Number two, uh, a loaf of bread. Bakers say the result is steamed bread that's dense and has no real crust. Ah. Baking gives bread its airiness, and the crust is formed where the moisture evaporates, gets all nice and dry there on the top. That's not going to happen again in the moist environment of that instant pot that you love. <laughs> and number three, I haven't heard anybody try this, but cookies. No really? bueno. No, no bueno in the instant pot. You can use it uh, to make some pretty fabulous desserts. We've seen cheesecake done, uh, yes. pumpkins, uh, pumpkin uh, cheesecake, but cookies, not one of those desserts because, again, moisture and then the pressure buildup in the instant pot, you're not going to get those nice chewy edges oh, with yeah, a yeah. soft middle. Mm -mm, I need no. my chewy edges. You gotta have your chewy edges, right? <laughs> gotta, gotta. Uh, plus, you're not gonna save any time either. A batch of cookies in the oven can cook in less time than it takes your instant pot to actually reach pressure. Oh. Uh, just 10 to 12 minutes. So when you see instant, instant pots can be a little misleading when they say, oh, you can have this in four minutes. Right. Well, it takes a good 10 minutes or so to, to ramp, ramp up, up to pressure. Yeah. Then the cooking begins. Then it's gotta depressurize. Ah, you can let the okay. steam out of the top, but you wanna let it kind of sit for a little bit. So it's a little misleading. Okay. okay. But it is, you know, a set it and forget it kind of thing. Yeah. That I do like about it. Huh. Just no bread cookies or a fried chicken. <laughs> uh, for other things that really just don't go in an Instant Pot, it doesn't really work, go to GoodDaySacramento.com, click Show Info there at the top of the page, and then Today's Date. Right on. Well, we like to lighten things up around here on